substitution is a fundamental concept in logic. A substitution is a syntactic transformation on formal expressions. To apply a substitution to an expression means to consistently replace its variable, or placeholder, symbols by other expressions. The resulting expression is called a substitution instance of the original expression. Propositional logic. Definition where psi and phi represent formulas of propositional logic. Psi is a substitution instance of phi if and only if psi may be obtained from phi by substituting formulas for symbols in phi, always replacing an occurrence of the same symbol by an occurrence of the same formula, for example, and is a substitution instance of P and Q and is a substitution instance of, in some deduction systems for propositional logic. A new expression may be entered on a line of a derivation if it is a substitution instance of a previous line of the derivation. This is how new lines are introduced in some axiomatic systems. In systems that use rules of transformation, a rule may include the use of a substitution instance for the purpose of introducing certain variables into a derivation. In first-order logic, every closed propositional formula that can be derived from an open propositional formula or by substitution is said to be a substitution instance of A. If A is a closed propositional formula we counter itself as its only substitution instance. Tautologies A propositional formula is a tautology if it is true under every valuation of its predicate symbols. If phi is a tautology, and theta is a substitution instance of phi, then theta is again a tautology. This fact implies the soundness of the deduction rule described in the previous section. First order logic. In first order logic, a substitution is a total mapping sigma, vt from variables to terms. The notation x1 t1, x k t k, refers to a substitution mapping each variable she to the corresponding term t. For i equals 1, k, and every other variable to itself, the she must be pairwise distinct. Applying that substitution to a term t is written in postfix notation as t, x1 t1, x k t k. It means to replace every occurrence of each she in t by t. The result t sigma of applying a substitution sigma to a term t is called an instance of that term t. For example, applying the substitution x z. ZH to the term the domain DOM of a substitution sigma is commonly defined as the set of variables actually replace, i.e., DOM equals XV, X sigma X. A substitution is called a ground substitution if it maps all variables of its domain to ground, i.e., variable free terms. The substitution instance T sigma of a ground substitution is a ground term if all of T's variables are in sigma S domain, i.e., if R's DOM. A substitution sigma is called a linear substitution if T sigma is a linear term for some term T containing just the variables of sigma S domain, i.e., with VAS equals DOM. A substitution sigma is called a flat substitution if x sigma is a variable for every variable x. A substitution sigma is called a renaming substitution if it is a permutation on the set of all variables. Like every permutation, a renaming substitution sigma always has an inverse substitution sigma minus 1, such that t sigma sigma minus 1 equals t equals t sigma minus 1 sigma for every term t. However, it is not possible to define an inverse for an arbitrary substitution. For example, x2, y3 plus 4 is a ground substitution, xx1, y2 plus 4 is non-ground and non-flat, but linear, xy2, yy2 plus 4 is non-linear and non-flat, xy2, yy2 is flat but non-linear, xx1, yy2 is both linear and flat but not a renaming. 
Senses maps both y and y2 to y2, each of these substitutions has the set x, y as its domain. An example for a renaming substitution is xx1, x1y, yy2, y2x. It has the inverse xy2, y2y, yx1, x1x. The flat substitution xz, yz cannot have an inverse, since e.g., xz, yz equals z plus z, and the latter term cannot be transformed back to x plus y, as the information about the origin az stems from is lost. The ground substitution x2 cannot have an inverse due to a similar loss of origin information e.g. in x2 equals 2 plus 2, even if replacing constants by variables was allowed by some fictitious kind of generalized substitutions. Two substitutions are considered equal if they map each variable to structurally equal result terms, formally. Sigma equals tau if x sigma equals x tau for each variable x v. The composition of two substitutions sigma equals x1 t1 x k t k and tau equals y1 u1 y l l is obtained by removing from the substitution x1 t1 tau x k t k tau y1 u1 y l l those pairs u e for which e x1 x k the composition of sigma and tau is denoted by sigma tau. Composition is an associative operation, and is compatible with substitution application, i.e., tau equals rho, and tau equals t, respectively. For every substitution's rho, sigma, tau, and every term t, the identity substitution, which maps every variable to itself, is the neutral element of substitution composition. A substitution sigma is called idempotent if sigma sigma equals sigma, and hence t sigma sigma equals t sigma for every term t. The substitution x1 t1 xk tk is idempotent if and only if none of the variables she occurs in any t. Substitution composition is not commutative, that is, sigma tau may be different from tau sigma, even if sigma and tau are idempotent. For example, x2, y3 plus 4, is equal to, y3 plus 4, x2, but different from, x2, y7. The substitution, x y plus y, is idempotent, e.g., x y plus y, x y plus y, equals plus y, x y plus y, equals plus y, while the substitution, x x plus y, is non-idempotent, e.g., x x plus y, x x plus y, equals plus y, x x plus y, equals plus y, plus y. An example for non-commuting substitutions is x y y z equals x z y z but y z x y equals x y y z